Hello and welcome to Junction Road TMD. My name is John Batley and I'm the builder of said diorama stroke layout. And I'm going to take you through a quick pan of the layout and then I'm going to concentrate on all the upgrades that have been done during April 2020 during this lockdown. So we're going to do a quick pan round Junction Road TMD and then I'm going to take you back up to this major shed here. So we'll just give you a quick look of what the depot looks like now after it's been upgraded. The layout is roughly 13 years old and it was featured in Model Rail in 2014 as a modern image depot. After 2014 it was kind of mothballed and hardly was ever used. And obviously when the COVID-19 crisis came along and I've been furloughed from work, I decided to revamp the layout and kind of bring it up to date and make it look better than it ever has. And I hope I've actually done that. So at the moment we're just having a quick look round, give you a bit of an idea of the scale and size of the layout. Now for all those who ask, the layout is six foot wide by two foot wide. <laughs> that is it, that is it. Six foot wide by two foot wide. And that is all my wife will allow me to have in the garden shed. Yes, it's in a garden shed. So we're just gonna have another quick pan around so you get an idea. And then we'll go back up to the main shed and go through the details that have gone on there and then I'll do another video coming back down here and explaining further details of upgrades that have happened down this end. So let's go back up to A Shed. Now A Shed is the main shed of the layout as you can see. It's a two road shed by Backman. I've done a few things to it like put lights on it and put an extra wall in the middle there to create two lines, roads I should say. And then you've got the main signing on point for the crew. And then we come back down here to the two fueling roads. Now we can fuel four locomotives at a time, which is kind of cool. So we can have four locos down there. But let's just go up to the detailing that's happened since April 2020. As you can see, the crew signing on point will start with that. That's been lit up. And then we've got a fence outside the front, and then we've got grip bins, more signage, and then moving over. I've replaced the IBC containers with something that looks more prototypical. They've been replaced because I had the Backman ones before that. As you can see, there is some depot lighting, courtesy of Kites Lights. All my lighting, signals, and yard lighting is by Kites Lights. They can be found on the internet if you like what you see. The fueling point here that is lit up as well with a the light as well as this one here that's lit up as well we've got skips with old mainline signage in we've got pallets everywhere we've got coolant trolleys i've added those and the odd vehicle we've got a few vehicles that i've added recently including the truck which is uh, unloading chemical drums for all those who are in their cars, we've got an Astra GTE here. That's an Oxford version. I've replaced the buffer stops with something more scale. These are Pico scale buffer stops. Moving over to the shed, we've still got a few bits and pieces down the middle here, like wheels, batteries, compressors, brake blocks, and a fan. The shed itself has got Helgen class 47 and a Hornby class 67 in there. Moving on down here, we've got the permanent way gang. They're discussing the next job they're going to be doing by relaying a, a few bits of track. And the transit crew cab with some extra detailing. The transit van which has been heavily weathered. We've got the ballast bags and then this little chap here that lots of people seem to like on Facebook 
He is by Bush, a German manufacturer. Although he's an HO scale, he does fit in there quite well. You get the figure and you get the telephone line side box with it. I've added a little piece of five amp fuse wire. So it looks like the chap's on the phone. As you can see, there's point motors, there is ground signals, there is point heaters, and they've all got their cables running off for troughs and relay boxes. Today's standby locomotive is 40, uh, sorry, 37425. I need to said 47 there, so I've got so many class 47s. It's unusual to see a class 37 on the, on the layout at the moment. But uh, it's come out today and it's on standby. The signals again, they're by Kites Lights. Signal JU9 there and JU10 there. So hopefully you get an idea of what's going on up here at A Shed. I'll do another video showing B Shed later on. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Please be advised though that this is all work in progress. I, I, I know there is lots of people who like to pick out on finitically detail, but things are being upgraded as I go along. I'm trying my best to make it look as prototypical as possible, i.e. adding lights and CCTV and getting everything correct as I think I can get it correct. But I'm only human. And I do make mistakes. There's no need for people to send in horrible comments. Just tell me if you think something's wrong, politely, and I'll try and put it right. So there you go, that's a shed and the fueling points and all the extra detail that I've added over the last month. Hope you like it. It's been an enjoyable kind of time for me while I've been on furlough. And I'll see you next time for another video showing B-Shed and the other end of the layout. Until next time, this is me, John Batley, builder of Junction Road TMD, signing off. Thanks for all the supporters who uh, send in their great comments. That spurs me on to carry on with what I'm doing. As I said, the layout is roughly now 12 to 14 years old, and it's starting to show its its age but I'll enjoy it while I've still got it and hopefully it'll last a few more years in the shed okay until the next video thanks very much and I'll see you again goodbye